Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in today's video, we're we'll showing how to strap down these type of metal sheets. They're polished, so you gotta be tarp. They have four stacks here, and except the top stack, I got one two inch here, one two inch there, and one two inch there strap. So basically that is to prevent the load from shifting left to right and forward and backward. The top will be covered by the other four inch and two inch straps. Next thing I'm gonna do is throw the tarp on. Okay guys, so basically, if you roll the tarp on, all I need is a small tarp. This actually might be too big for it, but that's a perfect size tarp actually. Um, after you make sure it's all even on both sides, what you're gonna do guys, is you're going to tuck the tarp into the side uh, once it's laid out. And these ends you wanna stretch as much as possible. And then in the next clip, you'll see what I'm gonna throw across them, which is a strap actually. So guys, this is hard work and not hard work, hard work at the same time because, I mean, it's tarping. This is not a bad tarp job, but right now, see I tarped the front end that's loose and in the rear I also tarp that's loose right over here. So, all right, now it's time to go ahead and strap it. I would not actually want to, well, I might bungee it down first, but I think strapping is, should be done first. We'll see. Yeah, so first things first, I gotta go ahead and uh, actually I'm gonna bungee, bungee this down and then strap it down. We'll see, uh, you'll see in this video what I'm gonna do next. Okay guys, as you can see in this video, uh, it is bungee down. Time to throw straps on. This load requires 10 straps. I'm gonna throw the strap right over the tarp. No way the tarp don't fly anywhere. That makes it um, 10 straps. I gotta throw seven four inch straps on there. And yeah, time to run the straps over on top and we'll be good to go after that. Okay guys, so I put all the straps in. As you can see, they're inside of the rail. And why we're doing inside the rail is because this load is not as wide as the trailer and it is um it is not gonna rub on the strap and not cut it so the only reason why i would run my straps outside of the rail is simply for the fact either the load goes almost all the way up to the rail and you can't even put a strap or hook through the inside of the rail or depending on some loads they have to be the straps have to be as far away as possible from the middle of the load than to the top because once you're, once you're driving, it rubs and cut it and gets cut. So that's the only reason why I would want to do it outside of the rail. But other than that, guys, you go as hard as you want, as hard as you can, basically, on the straps. And yes, I put edge guards on the straps because this metal is sharp. And I don't want it to cut through the tarp or through the strap because once you put a strap on, it's going to cut more through the tarp. This stays secure and does not go anywhere. It doesn't wobble. So if it starts wiggling around, it's not going to cause a strap to get cut. The only points that are careful of, don't make the this a little, I mean, this is already tight, but I don't think it's going to cut through. Don't make the corner super tight because what's going to happen is the metal might cut through. But anyway, guys, so that's how you strap down here. Also, guys, take note that usually all step decks, depending the design, have a special hookup, hook bar or rail underneath the trailer which makes it easier for you to hook on hook the straps so yes a lot of trailers have that and i don't have any tie downs in this trailer but only on the other side so that's why it's only on one side each step deck is different like i said but normally all step decks at least have one on each uh, on one of the sides now guys this is a forty-three thousand pound load and we have to move our axles to spread i'm gonna try to see hopefully i can move them to spread here and once we move them to spread, it's gonna go time to weigh. That was easy. All right, so once it is lifted, uh, lifted up, I am going to move my axles to spread, and then we're gonna go drive to the scale in a way, see how much we are at. All right, guys, so because it's loaded, it takes a while to get these uh, pins set and move the axle. Once you move the axle, guys, you're good to go. Uh, just you first gotta go away. So what I'm gonna do is just for this video purposes, I am going to scale this load in and make sure we're all correct in the weights. And the reason why I couldn't spread them before getting loaded, because I had to enter that freaking 
bay in a very tight area and it's harder to do on a spread axle so fortunately i wish i could have got them spread first but i could have so normally before getting loaded that's when you want to spread them but if you can't spread them before that you're gonna have to do it after but it's a pain in the butt to do it all right guys there you have it and then on your screen guys right now is the um is what the weight was i took a screenshot because i have an app for the cat scale but that was what the weight was on this so even if i would have moved my all, all these plates all the way to the front i don't think it would have been uh okay to have them in tandem mode i think it would this what it's at right now is currently best for this load all right guys thank you for watching i'm eddie v and i'll see you next time not canceled Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2046. Driving a temp in the sex series.